Eric's here. No. Ront is fine. Uh, it's Gage. Uh, he's currently at an anime expo. Oh, lucky. Yeah, it's his birthday present. Oh, awesome. I would have to need at least need 5k to go to one of those. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> money? <laughs> yeah. It for me it's it's a boatload of people uh which probably would cause me a lot of anxiety being as socially awkward as i am uh it, so uh nope i'm good i'm good fine understandable i get like that Perfectly too fine. i mean I'm it's anime it. so i can push through it <laughs> yeah if i if it's something where i can just like go alone be essentially by myself but like just people's around me uh, and I'm watching panels or something, then I'm probably be fine. But I'm 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 a learner like that. Like I like going to movies by myself. And I do decide to go to movies most of the time nowadays. I'm like, oh, I'll wait for it to go on Netflix <laughs> or, um, or Disney Plus or something. But I've also just haven't been about seeing watching movies. Yeah. Well, during the pandemic it was kind of nice not many people were around <laughs> my, my husband and i would watch so many movies he used to make a little spreadsheet just so you know what you love yeah just to see how many movies we saw every year yeah i really wish i could have all of my media just digitized in like a nas or something that my apple tv could access and just kind of load it up from there. Just watch mm. stuff. That would be nice. I'm. I now. No, I no longer want physical media when it comes to. In any video. Mm. Also have movies anywhere. Which means. Yeah, we do too. I. Which means buy it on iTunes, YouTube, <laughs> Amazon Prime, a Vudu. <laughs> You can watch it for many of the services. And you, you know who started uh, movies anywhere? Disney. Hmm. Disney. That mouse doesn't play. It owns everything. Yeah, but they're like, hey, if you bought it someplace, you should be able to watch it anywhere you want to. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's like, like you know, I'm, Sure. You you HBO is the one on top of that stuff. A lot of the new movies that come in theaters, they come on HBO. That's why we got that. HBO Max. Yep. A lot better than having Netflix. Yeah, it has all the, also has all the Warner Brothers stuff. Mm -hmm. Which means also all the DC stuff. Yep. Let's fight. Otherwise. Yep. All right. Yes. Hello, everybody. Hey Welcome. Well, uh, thank you for joining us for the pre-show. And now it's time for the actual show. Um, Welcome to Bears and Dragons, uh, the uh, uh, place where us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you. Um, so let's. Uh, uh, we have our our beloved Leaf back, but uh, Gage is currently at an anime ex expo. Oh, so. For his birthday present to himself, I think. Or did somebody buy tickets? I don't know. But in any case, yeah. birthday present. But we're happy for him. But <laughs> where did we leave off? What happened last time? Last time on Bears and Dragons, what happened? Um, not a whole lot. Just a lot of traveling and stuff. Ciara is mute right now um, because of a... Cave of Echoes. So we also saw a person basically drown himself into the No, lake. no, Lassiter no. Lassiter saw that. Only Lassiter saw that. Have some issues with what's going on with you just in campaigns here. <laughs> just watching people drown themselves. And... Campaign choices. Yeah. He's, he's probably looking at all... Uh, in, in... Lassiter didn't tell me if this is what was correct. I supposed to do? 
You really can't get a break. He just has a bunch of issues. <laughs> You're a cleric? You have somebody that's hurt? Possibly a little crazy? You could have helped them, or at least tried to. Clergy boy. You're a I He's mean, you're, you're a cleric and a warlock, so I suppose it kind of <laughs> gets skewed. Of course, considering who your patron is. I was kind of thinking about what if this goes bad? And that kind of outweighed the whole I should probably help this guy. Thing. <laughs> I mean, the... ask, asking for a dog. You know, it's perfectly... <laughs> Okay. You're never going to get away from that. Quest. You're never going to get away from it. Just accept it as part of your being now. You killed the dog. I mean, technically the undead servants did, but still. By his order. <laughs> or a miss of order. He had a hand in it. <laughs> um, isn't, uh, what are their names? Topsy and Turvy supposed to not be here. We're gone. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some I, What do you mean, Topsy and Turvy? They're not there. Oh, well, it was. I guess it was my imagination. Exactly. Um, it's All that dog meat going to your head. And you'll see a world of pure imagination. Uh, that might be another thing. Uh, top, did Top Secretary leave last session or the one before that? Last, last session. session. Oh, yeah. That's the there were rats. Supposed. Jim Jar letting you know that they were probably embarrassed. They didn't want anybody to know. That they were drowning? No, that they were. No, they were they were rats. Oh, were rats? You. I mean, oh, nice. <laughs> oh, uh, ew. Oh, oh, I mean, we're accepting. <laughs> um, and then we, uh, found this cave where... With a bunch of wonders. Dark dwarves. <laughs> Covered in fungi. I tried talking to them before realizing that they were covered in fungi. And then it's like, oh, you don't know shit. And then we rolled initiative. And That's that was where the end of that. And then I finished rolling initiative. Uh, Leaf already rolled for you, so don't worry about that. Whee! Um, oh, I, I would guess that you guys are probably positioned a little tighter than this. Yeah. Something like that. That seems right. about right. Which means it's time to skirmish. The new, new volume controls are awkward. Is my music too loud? I feel like it might be. Yeah, you can control it in the in your options. Uh, under audio and video, you can little. adjust your uh, uh, master music volume. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, trying to find the perfect volume. There we go. I think that'll be good. And with that, as the uh, Durgar spore servants turn towards you, uh, ready to attack with their war picks. Roderick. Nap. Or take okay. some heads off. So, yeah. We're gonna go like right here. And he's gonna just take a deep breath like close his eyes, take a deep breath, and just like summon his astral arms. And like if you didn't really kinda of pay any close attention, you actually see his eyes like flash red. Um, so I'm going to need deck saves from this one, this one, and this one. We are not playing. We are here for taking names. That's probably fail. 
18 and a 12. Uh, uh, DC's 15. 15. Okay, so one of them saves. They're getting, the rolls are getting whispered. Yeah, I know. But that's okay. So, but what happens? Uh, so they'll take two D6 force damage. Right. Ooh, nice. Seven. And then so anyone who failed, takes seven. Right. And if they made it, they, they take nothing. Uh. So you pop out your astral arms, which kind of burst out and punch the uh, this one and this one for a nice little seven points of damage. Uh, this one ducks as the, your astral arms swinging around. And as he ducks, um, you'll see a one of the arms come up as an uppercut. All right, go for so. attack. Sixteen hit. That hits. And so, so he may have take... not gotten seven. But he got 11. Yeah. So, like, he, like, his jaw comes up. Like, he kind of gets knocked up. And then he just sees another arm coming straight down on him. For second attack. That's definitely going to hit. So he should have just taken the seven. He ducks down. <laughs> when the arms come flying oh, up. Oh, yeah. Punches him. He actually flies about uh, a foot into the air, uh, just as the other arm comes down and smashes him to the ground. Uh, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Uh, he definitely looks hurt. Oh, that's all. Anything? All right, Leaf. Oh, actually, then um, I'll go ahead and move over here. Okay, because of your mobile feet, there's no tax opportunity. I was like, why not do it? <laughs> they can't attack me. Right. Oh, yeah. Leaf! Alright. One element to... I'm gonna move right here. Oh, if I can figure this thing out. I don't know how to move anymore. What's going on here? Make sure you're on your select tool and be able to just select and drag and drop. I can't. How weird. I'm on my yeah, I'm roll 20. Can you can you like uh, point to where you want to move? Mm, I'm trying. Oh. Uh oh. Can we try refreshing? Let me refresh then. Yeah. Oh no. Do 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 do. There you go. No, that was me. That was sorry. Perfect, I'm sorry. And okay, let's see. Let's try this again. There we go. Oh, damn. If I can move. Come on. Okay. There we go. I, got I the pink. Move. Right here. And I want to attack this guy in front of me. I would like to use my awesome cantrip first. <laughs> my magic stone. Well, let me make sure I click. You can see during this entire adventure, you just have this little bag of pebbles that you've just been collecting all over, all over the underdark, just for this. Purpose. <laughs> just for this whole purpose. Did it roll? Uh, yeah. uh roll the damage we need the uh, to hit. It's a hit, or no? Or yeah, yeah, you need to roll to hit. You need to, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me roll. Wait, did I roll right? There we are. That definitely hits. Nine points of damage. And then, can I use my thorn whip? Hmm. I believe the magic stone is a bonus action. 
Yes. Oh, am I rolling the damage before I roll the Yeah, you're, going, you're rolling the... Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. There we go. Crit! Uh, go ahead and roll damage again. Okay. Okay. There five points of damage. Thorn whip them really hard. The uh, uh, thorn whip com comes out and just kind of like goes right through his eye and into his brain. Uh, and uh, you probably put him out of his misery. Yay! Quick finish. <laughs> Now for NPCs. Ferris. Ferris goes, my friends, my friends, can, can you take us to the Netherlight Grove? Please, please, please. He's gonna kind of come closer and just seems to be asking something about his friends. Ambassador. Um, Lassiter is going to cast uh, I think guidance. But, oh, it's a text spell. Fuck. Uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to cast Guidance on Ron. And, um... You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Just move out of his way. I, I'm not sure if Guidance will do what you think it will. Guidance is more for ability checks. Fuck. I misread it. Guiding Bolt is attacks. I know what Guiding Bolt does. <laughs> um, Sorry. Fast I, just thought, <laughs> I just thought Guidance helped with uh, <laughs> attack. Nope, it's just for ability checks. I think I'm thinking... There's one guidance. for each. Bless helps with, with attacks. Yeah. That's, um, a, that's a whole spell slot. Yeah, but it also affects multiple people. Does it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, at first level, it does three. Oh, okay. Then you can I'll cast it for more people. Um, yeah, I'll cast that level target one extra. Yeah, I'll cast Bless at a second level. So that's four people. Uh, that is gonna be um, names Roderick, uh, Edith, Eldith, Eldith, uh, Holly, and Lee. Right here. We've been blessed. So Haley, Leaf, Roderick, and Eldith are now blessed. You can roll D4 on all your attacks, attack rolls, and the saving throws, and add that to your roll. Sing a little prayer for you. Is this a one-time thing or? It's a concentration. Okay, cool. So, so as long as you're concentrating you... for it, and it lasts for up to a minute, so ten rounds. Cool, cool. That All is right. my turn. Cool. That's uh, Durgar's turn. Durgar. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's fine. Uh, I'm trying to fine. Everything's fine here. I mean, this also may be a really short battle, but you know. <laughs> uh, where were we? 
Uh, Roderick, uh, the one you hit really hard, wasn't very happy about that. So he's gonna Understandable. Make on you. Uh, 11, I'm assuming doesn't hit. Oh, it wishes. The next one will attack Leaf. Leaf's friend. Uh, I'm assuming a 10 does not hit you, Leaf. Nope. Uh, another one coming at you, Leaf, because you're a print. Dang it. The 22 uh, will hit, right? Yeah. I need this. You. Uh, but I believe I could just hit that. There we are. Uh, you take five piercing damage as uh, what looks to be a pickaxe, a really sharp and nasty looking pickaxe. Come flying at you and just kind of digs into your shoulder. Ooh. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be very that hard with only five damage. My balls! How dare you! And Haley. Uh, swing and a miss. Haley just kind of whiffs like, it. Kind of like just parries it with her, her axe. Uh, Sova. Where? She will fly in, and she will fly this guy's face here with help action. Right. Next uh, attack on that Durgar will be with advantage. Uh, Gage, All right, come over here. Right, and just makes a long sword attack. And that'll hit. I'll do it two-handed. The funsies. Not for hard. The tags. Oh. And then I'll make another attack against it. Now hit, and he kills it. Where to go? Doesn't hurt him. Doesn't hurt him enough on the first one, and just takes him out of his misery. Second one. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna move these off camera. Uh, and we got Jim Jar. Okay. Go. He's gonna pull out his hand crossbow and just shoot this guy. Oh, and completely whiffs. Too many people in front of him, apparently. Uh, he's gonna pop over here and make a stealth check. Oh, he's he not doing he's good. Hidden. Two crit fails in a row. This is uh, uh this is awkward. <laughs> All that comes over here, jumps on the corpse and says uh says uh make some curses in Dwarvish and uh, attacks him with the short sword. Uh twenty three Back with short sword uh, for seven damage. Excellent. Um, D four. Oh yeah. No, they both hit anyways. So. Oh. That's okay. If they didn't, I would have rolled. Haley. All right, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Attack this mother hover right there. Uh, when first going into rage. Rawr! She's ready. Rawr, 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 All of a sudden, um, there's a whole need... bunch of bubbles appearing above her head. Just kind of and then... Out. This one needs a... Deck save. Oh, uh, that will fail. Yep. 
But it only take one lightning damage. Oh. Every little bit helps. Yep, and then we're gonna swing on this one. The Is the help action still going on that? Yes. Okay, I wasn't sure who uh, Jim Jar shot no. at, so... Oh, yeah. I forgot the... That might have actually hit, if I remember that. No, it wouldn't. I'm gonna say it's still advantage. It's not a... It's, it's a help action, so it's not really guiding bolt. So. Uh, then a D4... 13 hit? Uh, no. Uh, apparently Sova is even distracting uh, uh, Haley. Is she a Second attack. attack. Yeah. yeah. Still advantage. Yeah, oh, that's definitely gonna hit. Oh, that'll hit, yeah. So, 11. Oops. Might help if I hit ones instead of sevens. You can hit sevens. Seventy sevens, fine. Nope. Anything else? Uh, bonus action. I'm sure she doesn't care about yeah. moving. Nope. All right, Syra. Second way she will or, draw or her blade. By Lentra. <laughs> <laughs> She'll draw her blade with a flourish, starting her. Silent but deadly blade song. <laughs> and just because it's fun. Vibration coming from the sword. She will do some hardcore parkour against the wall. Parkour parkour. Okay. Finally, okay. finally seeing that Roderick's been doing it, and Three. like that looks fun. <laughs> Five. No. Damn it. Why was that so funny? <laughs> And she will do her green flame blade with super advantage because that'll hit. So that one will take all of that. Which one? The, the top one or the bottom one? one? The one in front of me. Yep. All okay. right. And who so broke their? Who broke their? Seven. Eight. Nice one. And then. Okay. It's not looking good. And then the one that Haley was attacking will take the other part of Green Flame Blade, which was a crit. Uh, which is a 1d8 plus 5, so it'll be a 2d8 plus 5. Mm hmm. If it rolls, thank you. So 11 plus 5, so 16 on this one. All right. So, Syrah acrobatically, I didn't, although I probably should have had you make an acrobatic check, um, uh, bounces over the wall, uh, steps on uh, the head of this one to drop down to here, mm -hmm. and as she's coming down, pierces, pierces right into the chest of uh, this one, pulling it out, with a flourish, flipping, flinging some a uh, ball of green fire that goes right into the face of this one, hitting him so hard, and he knocks him out. That's him. Uh, and this one is looking pretty rough. Stool. You got this, buddy. <laughs> I can't wait for Stool to be the secret bad guy. Oh. Who <laughs> comes over here and says, Go get him, Gage! <laughs> Is he a bard? <laughs> he has a speed of 10 feet. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, like, so I moved him his entire movement. Ron. Uh, let's see, uh, 30 feet? Uh, nope. Here. 
Ah! He's got his axe out and he's kind of growling, so he's going to actually uh, dash all the way over here. I'm going to look at the, the dwarf and be like, Ah! I can't make an action this round! <laughs> uh, Prince Darendel. Why do I have to be in the back? You're covering our ears. Oh. 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 Correction. As a bonus action, the orc can move up its speed towards a hostile creature as <laughs> that it can see. Oh, so it can make an action. So he can bonus action. Aggressive. Out he is aggressive. So he's going to attack. And with. <laughs> wow. Wah, wah. He gets so excited that he's actually able to attack. He's just like, ah. I had such high hopes for you, Ron. <laughs> he doesn't have reckless attack or something. Um, nope. God. He does not have a level in barbarian. <laughs> Although he should. Uh, who's next? <laughs> Darren Bell. Such yeah. high hopes. Such high hopes. Arendelle's going to sit here and says, Excellent work. You should be able to finish this off. Very strange for a uh, Qui-Goth to be so elegant. Bouchard comes around the corner, kind of looks around. He might, uh, go get him. Nice. Uh, and Roderick, it's your turn. Um, go go ahead and attack this one. Because you have 10 foot reach, don't you? I, I do, with my spite, my astral arms. <laughs> I don't even have to move. <laughs> Just have your regular arms crossed to go... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <See>? that'll hit. <laughs> Leaf. Just, just um, for fun. How do you want to do this? Just, like, he just sees his, like, arm, like, kind of, like, dashing in between both Haley and... And, um, leaf and just like quickly, just like shark, like thunder punch right to the throat. Just <laughs> 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 uh, I just imagine you reaching over leaf's head and giving him like a noogie so hard it kills him. <laughs> and then another arm is just gonna come straight down, uh, like from the ceiling onto this one. Alright. Ooh. I'm oh. not even sure with the D4 if that's gonna hit. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 14? Uh, no. Damn. Sorry. Uh, bonus action. Bonus action. Flurry of blows. <laughs> oh. Now, Would did you, you like, to... jump onto the ceiling and them doing this now, or uh, are you still doing it from the Oh, I'm just still doing it with my spectral arms. Ten feet. Like this is just okay. Flavor. Yeah. Okay. What do you have? What do you have flanking? Cause Ronson over there. Nope, because he's not within five feet. My rule on flanking is you have uh, both have to be within five feet of each other. Oh, speaking of which, actually, Ron would have had advantage on that attack. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Ron actually hit with that. <laughs> because he would have had advantage because because all the Yay. And then uh third attack. Eight. Eight. Uh yeah, he was looking pretty rough back. Uh he's not dead. No. And guess what? I wanted to call lightning on it. Oh, <laughs> Oh, damn! Yeah. It hurt me. <laughs> hurt me for five. Thank you. Just overkill. Um, these are kind of tight corridors. I'm not sure if you could call lightning. I know. Yeah, you have to have a, you have to have a tall ceiling or be outside. Strangely enough, it just happens that I was watching uh, an old episode of Critical Role where um, they yeah. talked about that oh, just recently. Helix was trying to, to call lightning in, uh, in a uh, tight room in a in a state. How did they hit through the tree? 
Well, that that went pretty quickly. That was the plan. I was trying to end this as quickly as possible. Uh, Sarah thinks, going, no, my friend! <laughs> no, why did you have to kill them? Well, what do you mean? You're, you knew them? Well, uh, they, 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 they seem to be like me. I, I just sensed that they were kins. They, they, they oh, have fungi growing on them. I did. You, you did. You didn't see. You didn't see the. the, the I it, was, it was all over them. He kind of like turns and starts walking down down the hall. Oh, no, the light grove is this way. Sarah, are you all right? Yes, I'm perfectly fine. I'll, I'll okay. whisper over to Roger. Uh, he, he's kind of mentally uh, damaged or something. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet, but something's wrong with him. Should we? I, I feel like this is something that we need to figure out yeah. now before it hurts us later. He seems to really like Never Light Grove. He called those people his fr that tried attacking us. They attacked us. I, I understand. I understand. And they were that they were like him. He's like, uh, can I can I roll like a like a history check or something to um recall if anyone from like my soldier days uh. Uh, had any of, I don't know, these symptoms or whatever? A, a, a puff of spores uh, 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 appears in front of you, and for some reason you can't help but inhale them. <laughs> and you hear in your head, you hear in your head, I, I think they're spore servants. Those were spore servants? It, it it's something my people can do where where they I can't but um where they can can use spores to infect people to control them. Is there a way for for us to be able to tell these people besides a fungi growing on them? Because I have a feeling something's going on similarly to Sarah. Uh, I did feel something about Sarath. I don't Crazy. know what it was, but um, not all uh, look like this. This was, must have been exposed to, uh, for a lot of support to, to get this bad. Uh, the green lens as well. Two guns as on them. Normally, it just wears off if they haven't been infected very much. Has it been a while since? The possibility of Sarath being affected. But if, if he was affected, I I, I I haven't seen any any. For as long as I've seen, like the, 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 he, it would have worn off by now if if uh, uh, any of my people that could do that had had done it. We could try interrogating him. It's only the very oh, old he... people that can do it. So not many. Which brings up the question: How old are you, still? Many. He holds up all of his fingers, and there's only four. <laughs> okay. He, he's a young. Is that snoring? I think it's a cat. Oh, okay. Can you, oh, can you hear that? Like, <laughs> barely. <laughs> that's that's my dog. Oh, oh. No. oh, is he sleeping? Yeah, she's she's right next oh, to me. Please. No. Yeah, one, um, of my, one of the ways to my heart is through is the dog, puppy. <laughs> I have a miniature dachshund. She's <gasps> fast asleep. Oh, puppies! I 
love dachshunds. They're my favorite small dog. Mine always used to use my wiener as a launch pad. Wait, what? My dachshund liked to use my genital reason as a launch pad when getting off the couch. Oh. Because he liked to be on my lap. And he would position himself so his paws were directly on my balls and then push off to get up. There's a picture on her on the on the Discord. <gasps> oh my god! She's adorable! Oh, there's a puppy! Sorry, um, uh, bears and, and puppies. Uh, they go well together in different ways. I thought it's a whole other kid. <laughs> It's Ciara's dog. What? Ciara's puppy. Why is she so adorable, Daxie? We can hear her snoring. So it's like, oh. Make sure you're looking at the time double. Yeah. It's almost done. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, so should we try to figure out what's going on with Sarah right now? I kind of feel like it's one of those things that if we let it go, it might hurt us in the long run. Uh, I, I but I don't like know should... what to do. I feel like that's a, probably a good idea. <clears throat> However, how would we go about doing this? Are we just going to like put him in the middle of us and we like make sure he doesn't go anywhere and we ask questions or are we just gonna I mean, ask him but, but but he knows how to get me home yeah that that's the other thing if because he uh, knows where now the light grove is i'm not so sure see and that's the weird part too he is very keenly attuned to the direction of which the grove is and you're not even that way i mean i mean i'm mike ned that this it, this whole like spore thing doesn't really affect me um at least from my understanding um but i i i don't know where to go and, and he does and i don't think I, anybody I know. else knows I'm well, just home. no no still so we're gonna figure out how to get you home and all i'm just saying as a, a point of order on something might not be right with sarah is how tunely a keen he is to the direction in which the grove is well, compared to someone who calls that place home. He kind of bow, bows his, his little mushroom head and, and kind of puts his hands behind his back and is like, could we wait until we get home? We'll keep an eye on him. How about that? Okay. Suck up. Let's kill him. Just kidding. I, I, just, I just... Does Lassiter actually say that? Yes. No. I'll look at him. Eyes glowing a bit red. Just shut your face. Just red flash. Just shut it. Shut my face. Shut it. <laughs> yep. All right, everyone. Let's keep going towards Grekel's tube. All right. And then Netherlight Grove. And off. All right. New survival check. Uh, see how well of a hiding spot you can find for a good rest. Um, while we're doing this, I would like to like keep an eye on uh, Sarah. Wait, are we taking a spot? Sorry, just, just uh, trying to look for anything um out of the ordinary with him. In general, he pretty much keeps it himself, doesn't really talk that much, uh, unless really spoken to or anything. It's very polite. Hey, Holly is very much uh, looking at Sarah, just like, seeing what's going on. Not really paying attention to everything else. And it's kind of still dark, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, actually, let me check some. Like, like... Sarah is dark himself. So... Oh, wait a minute. At, uh... I don't really roll this. Here's that. Okay. She looks in the direction that she believes Sarah is in. Uh, you're currently dimly lit. The area is currently dimly dimly lit by a phosphorescent moss and lichen in the common to so, She's more focused on Sarah than trying to find a place for us. Yeah. 
That would make sense. And... Uh, all this would also help out with that. I'd still like to stay next to Ront, though. That's my... Even Ron your orbs. Um, looking around, uh, you're able to easily find a uh, good hidden uh, little cave. Uh, very near the shore, there's like a small path. You notice near the, near the shore, there's a fall, small path to a cave that's oh. just off the shore. It's a little wet, a little damp uh, to begin with, but you go back as you go back into this little cave. Um, it has enough space for everybody. Um, might be a little cram cramped, but it's actually a pretty good hiding spot from everywhere besides, you know, anybody who might be on the dark light might be able to notice it, but as long as there's no light coming from it, uh, you'll probably be able to, you'd be easily hidden. Um, at some point, I'd like to pull a Ront to the side. I'd like a little conversation. Hmm. Yeah. What do you want? <clears throat> Hey, big guy. So, how do I say this? You're a big guy. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm quite smaller compared to you, right? Mm -hmm. I have the capabilities of uh, making sure your wounds are not wounds anymore. And Helpful. I feel like. We, as us, could be a really good team. Um, you know, you do want to partner up or something like that? Yeah, pretty much. You know, if we were on the surface, I'd probably kill you. Right. Understandable. But I'm hoping since we're down here and we all have a common goal of getting up there, uh, maybe we can put that fact aside and do I mean you want to get out of here yeah I mean no I mean like get away from these dumbasses who are trying to go to another light we could just like grackle could we just find a way to get out of here and just leave I uh I, I kind of you know promised I would help um I I'm not very, very good at it going off promises. I hope that doesn't uh, intrude in our uh, arrangement. Look, I I'm think only... relationship. Look, I'm only with this group because I need to get to the surface, and I definitely can't not do it alone here. Right. When you get to Grackle Stug. Maybe I'll see if I can find a way out, way out from here. And I'll help. Around. I'll definitely help. As long as you help me not die down here. I think you're doing a pretty good job. Cool. Fist bump. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, and for now on. I am sleeping next to Ront. He is my security guard. Your security blanket. That is all. all right. I'm just gonna be the annoying little mosquito. Not not biting him, just <laughs> on his shoulder. Well, telling just him. Just always near right near Ront. Yeah. Like near the orc. Meat shield. What? Someone say <laughs> meat shield? No. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Any character interactions before you'd like to uh, hit the hay and start your watches? <clears throat> Got it. 
Yeah, Sarah's good. She's just... Rod. She's just rearranging the uh, face she makes on her face with her, her quill. <laughs> what What is Roderick doing at the moment? Just chilling, meditating. Lassiter will walk on over to you. Still is and, uh, uh, currently mimicking Roderick. Um, and uh, I'll just like take a seat or lean against whatever. What well, can I help with you, Lassiter? Um, I feel like that we have maybe gotten off on the wrong foot. Is that how you say that? Yeah. Generally speaking, yes. Um, so I feel like we should start over. We got off on the wrong foot? I, I, I thought so. Like, so, sometimes it seems like you're mad at me for whatever reason. And I... He'll look, like, perplexed, like, I do. So, yeah. I, oh, well, I... my apologies. I make, make no forward attempt to be so much. So, you, know, you cool or? Yeah, we fine. Okay. All right. Like this yeah. whole time, he like, he like he'll just now open his eye or eyes and just be like, "Yeah, we good." Can I incite this? He's telling the truth. I'll tell you that right now. You can roll a one and still be like, "He's telling the truth." What if I roll a 20? He's still telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> 1 or a 20. He's telling you, the truth. You, you, good. you can roll. Go ahead and roll. Yeah. Insight. Twenty two. Yeah, he's telling the truth. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> How do you feel about everyone else besides Ceres? We're all here for our reasons and whatnot. Uh, most of us, besides um, that one murdering bastard, um, we're all here for. Our, uh, we're all seem pretty well intent and all, and trying to do this all. We all might not like each other the bestest and all, but. We're all grouping together to try to survive. And it's working so far. So. Alright. Uh, well, I can tell you one thing. Uh, Ront, he really wants to just leave. And he doesn't care about uh, getting everyone else home. As long as he gets home, he's fine. Um, Feeling he's very self-centered. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, nice chat. Um, I think we should probably think about who's going to uh, be doing Firewatch first. Firewatch? Uh, my bad. Old military lingo. Uh... Uh, first watch. I'll take care of that. And I'll go over to Ron and just pop a squat and fall asleep eventually. Uh, Ricky, if you happen to look back where Stool is mimicking you, he's disappeared. Oh. If you look around, uh, he's currently now next to Leaf. Leaf, you feel a, a little tug in your clothes, and you see a little Mykonid boy next to you who says, Hi! You haven't talked in a while. Wait, that's Stool has come over to you and 
He's talking to you. Oh, hello, Tool. How are you? I'm doing good. I uh, I was I was trying to to do whatever Roderick was doing. I think it was the uh, detimating. I mean, med- meditating. Oh. Um, and uh, 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 so I was trying to do it too. Um, but sorry. then he started talking to Lasser, and uh, um, it seemed like private conversation, so I kind of snuck away. I uh, didn't want to distract him or anything. Um, oh. So I thought I'd come over and say hi to you. How are you doing? Well, hello. I'm doing well. Um, Lee takes in his bag and offers some berries to Stool. Would you like some berries? Sure. He grabs one and chomps it down. Thank you. You're kind. No problem. He pats stool in the head. He 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 gives it a little like like he squee. He's happy. Hey. Do you, you think that that Syro will be able to talk again? Now it seems sure. like she's always I'm just sure. using her hand to talk. I'm sure we'll figure a way to bring her back to normal. I hope she's okay. The others are worried about Sarah. I don't know mm. why exactly. Although it's it's weird because I sense like um because you know how how I talk to you is through these spores that I shoot out. And it's completely harmless for me because I'm only I'm only this many. Uh, but um, uh, I know some of our our, our older people. Um, our older people can uh, 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 do something like those those Duragar, which get all got all the the mushrooms around them. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, to to control others, and for some reason, uh, Lassiter and uh, and and Roger think that 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 might have happened to to Sarah. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't really tell for sure. It's just I get this feeling around him, but he seems harmless, and he knows his way back back to my home. So, oh, so I, I don't sorry, want anything guys. to happen to him because he can help us. Help take me home because he knows like where it is. Mm. Don't worry, we'll get you home. And everything happens, we'll figure it out. Thank you. He's gonna curl up next to you and go to sleep. Alrighty, let's take a nap. Leave kind of just like crouches down and holds them. Cuddle with them and fall asleep as well. <laughs> All right, first watch. Any or any other character or directions before bed? That's how I take or, first watch. All right. So I would. Uh, no other character or direction. So Roderick, go ahead and roll me a perception check. I perceive all. You I see, see all the equations. I see all the equations. Uh, looking out for, uh, probably just in the in the shadows of the entrance to to the cave, uh, but you can clearly see out in this phosphorescent glow. Of the Underdark. Uh, you do notice uh, some disturbances on the water. I'll follow, like, just cautiously watch so make sure nothing is, like, what? coming yeah. towards us. You you just see the occasional bloop, bloop, bloop. Mm. 
That's about it. You watch it goes by un uneventfully in general. So. Second watch. Uh, Jim Jarr had 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 said that he would go ahead and take second watch for you. Wake me up. Wake up, uh, Jim Jar. Wrote the game Uncharted Worlds, and it's all weird. Here's how it works Uncharted Worlds is science fiction. So His first not natural one. No. Got a 19. Um, I think based off of current time, um, I'm going to describe what's happening and then we'll actually pick it up next time. Um, so all of a sudden, uh, uh, Jim Jar starts waking you all up. Hey, 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 get up, quick, quick. Ah! I'm awake. Yeah. Standing up in the fight, like, just... just. And as uh, you all wake up, you see uh, coming into the entrance what looks to be a swarm of giant fire beetles. What's that? No. So uh, let me actually see. Uh, fire. Like I know, Pharaoh is a default said Spain. Trying to see if I can get. But that took a year and a half to. Right. I'll have to do it this way. Looks like that. I know. Like, oh, well, those are lovely. Yeah, they're quite big. But we will pick that up next time because it, it, we don't have enough time to do a battle. So. Yeah. So, thank you all for joining us. Uh, short session today because uh, uh, somebody has to pick up his mother. Me! It's always a good thing. I get to see Mom. my mommy. It's been two years. Ooh, wow. Oh, yay. yeah. Congratulations. So I was like, this is happening? Like, I told my work, like, you ain't seeing me till Tuesday. Don't even try to have me come in because my mom's in town. It's been way too damn long it's since before quarantine happened that I've seen my mom. So, bye. Uh, well, that's awesome. I hope you guys Thanks. have a great time. Thanks. Yep. Shit down. So th okay. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great night. Night. Bye, guys. Good night, everybody.